Welcome to a review of the LEGO City Starter Pack, set number 60157, and it's related to the current sort of Jungle Explore Pack that's come out a while ago, and it's still out right now. Here's a quick look at the back of the box, showing you a few things you can do with it, and here's a quick look at the top of the box. Move that to the side. The instruction book that is surprisingly thick, and um, quite big as well. Uh, on the back, of course, it is advertising the rest, of the jungle set and boy I wish I could build all of that scene in the picture that would be awesome but I don't have the cash or the space for that so uh, the starter pack will have to do and here is a look at the parts guide is in this set is a hovercraft and yes that's actually a printed piece on the front right there freaking awesome I'm glad it's not a sticker a little box on the back uh, sitting area for two more people and there's total three minifigures in here so they can all fit on this hovercraft some uh, little spinny motors on the back, that's pretty cool. And uh, for some reason, in my box there's an extra plate here. Pretty awesome, spare plate, that's great. Lego plates are hard, quite hard to get. And yep, that's just uh, looks pretty decent. Second main piece is a bit of the jungle, got a tree there, it's a tiny little frog just sitting there, probably not Kermit. It's a little bit of a yellow frog, so it's a toad maybe. And there's a little flip here, open it up, there are four gold pieces in there which I guess they're hunting for, looking for. Not really sure what this has to do with jungle exploring. And a lime snake that's clipped on top of the tree. Nice little tree build. If you don't even get the big sets and just get some of the smaller ones, these make good little display pieces. I like this tree a lot. I guess I just really like green. And of course we also have this. Uh, alligator which um, has a moving tail, pretty cool, that's actually plugged in with a Technic piece and the mouth opens up, awesome. Little printed eyes on there are pretty nice as well. Uh, we have some accessories that go into the boat, we have a, a magnifying glass, uh, a little jungle's knife, sword thing and a camera. These are all standard accessories we've seen in many other sets before. There's another one of those jungle knives, as well as this stick with a little attachment on the end. Not really sure what that's meant to be, but whatever. Uh, so we have two explorers and a scientist here. Both explorers here have a really unique colour for their uniform. I think the only other time you, I've seen this commonly is Poe Dameron's X-Wing pilot's uniform. So this is a pretty useful orange colour to have. And the scientist there is also pretty nice. His expression's a little bit goofy, a little bit cartoony, but it gets the job done. A little bit of scratch mark on his face there, which is pretty nice. So on the front here, she has this uh, backpack and he has this little like rope going on. And this design pattern extends to the back where you can see the rest of the rope. Got a little radio there. And on the woman, that's Trap reviews a canteen and she also has a little radio on the back. No back facial expressions aside from the scientist. He has a scared expression, which again is also a very useful expression to have uh, because we don't have that many double faced people where one of them is scared. So, zombie apocalypse scenarios or um, not being attacked by the alligator. It's just a very useful face to have. And I guess that's a radio in his back pocket. Whether or not you'd like the entire sort of big jungle theme thing going on right now, I still think this is a pretty useful pack to get. Not only do you get some very nicely designed adventure packs, but you also have a scared face on the scientist there. The little tree pieces are pretty nice as well. So if you don't intend to get the big sets, this small tiny set still gives you a lot of unique figures, unique faces, and unique parts to have. Uh, that you can add to your other LEGO City or other LEGO lines and displays. So this is a very nice set to pick up. It's cheap, it's small, and uh, the builds themselves are also pretty decent. You get one background piece and one vehicle, and you've got a pretty awesome alligator there. <laughs> and like I said, those nice figures. So yes, I do recommend this set, and uh, for those of you uh, who, who can't afford the big sets, this one is nice on its own. Subscribe, suggest, and comment below. And of course, take care and have a nice day. I will see you guys soon. Bye bye now.